Welcome back to another edition of 60 Plus Seconds, Animals Presumed Extinct in the Last Decade. As we all know, the first decade of the 21st century was ripe with discoveries and innovations in the animal kingdom. From 2001 to 2010, new species were found, groundbreaking animal research was published, and some species were brought back from the brink of extinction. But in the past 10 years, we also saw some animals wiped from existence. Here's a look at the species that were declared extinct this decade, and a few that scientists say may also have gone the way of the dodo bird during the 21st century. So let's learn something new, shall we? First off, we have the golden toad. The golden toad, which is sometimes referred to as the Monteverde toad or the orange toad, was a species that lived only in Monterville Cloud Forest, a biological reserve in Costa Rica. It was once a common species, but no specimen has been seen since 1989. In 1988, only eight males and two females could be found, and in 1989, only a single male could be located. Extensive searches for the golden toad since then have failed to locate another specimen. Next on the list, we have the Bahi Dolphin. The last documented sighting of China's Bahi Dolphin, or Yangtze River Dolphin, was in 2002. And while the species is listed as critically endangered, scientists say it may already be extinct. In 2006, scientists from the Bahi Foundation traveled up the Yangtze River for more than 2,000 miles equipped with optical instruments and underwater microphones. Unfortunately, they were unable to detect any surviving dolphins and were put on the death list. Up next, the Hawaiian Crow. This native Hawaiian bird was declared extinct in the wild in 2002 when the last known wild individuals disappeared. Some birds remain in captivity and between 1993 and 1999 more than 40 birds were hatched in a captive breeding program. The birds were released into a lightly managed habitat and closely monitored, but the releases were abandoned in 1999 because of increasing mortality. Avian malaria might have been a significant role in this species' decline. Up next we have the Pyrenean ibex. The Pyrenean ibex is one of two extinct subspecies of the Spanish ibex. The species was once numerous and roamed across France and Spain, but by the early 1900s its number had fallen to fewer than a hundred. The last Pyrenean ibex, a female nicknamed Celia, was found dead in northern Spain on January 6, 2000, killed by a falling tree. Scientists took skin cells from the animal's ear and preserved them in liquid nitrogen, and in 2009 an ibex was cloned, making it the first species to become unextinct. However, the clone died just seven minutes later due to lung defects. Up next on our mass extinction list is Spix macaw. Although 71 Spix macaws exist in captivity, the last known bird in the wild disappeared in 2000 and no others are known to remain. The species is currently listed as critically endangered instead of extinct in the wild because not all areas of potential habitat have been thoroughly surveyed. This bird is native to northern Brazil, and in 1987, three known remaining birds were captured for trade. However, a single male bird was discovered in 1990 and paired with a female bird in captivity. But seven weeks after the female's release, she collided with a power line and died. And last but not least, we have the Liverpool pigeon. The Liverpool pigeon, or spotted green pigeon, is an extinct bird species of unknown origin. Some researchers speculate it might have lived in Tahiti. The only remaining specimen of the bird resides in the Merrillside County Museum, and scientists say it's likely that the species was close to extinction before European exploration began in the Pacific. The International Union for Conservation of Nature assessed this species in 2008 and declared it extinct, but the reasons for its extinction remain unknown. And that's a wrap for this edition of 60 Plus Seconds. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next episodes. If you have comments, questions, or video requests, leave them in the comments section below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this or any of my other videos. Thanks again, and have a nice day.